Welcome to Actions, Not Words, Our Voices, Our Paths. At Rosemont College, we are blessed with a mission and values rooted in the life and teachings of Cornelia Conley and exemplified by the Society of the Holy Child Jesus. Our Centennial Project team was honored to talk with nine alumni about how their experience as part of Rosemont's joyful learning community supported them in finding their voice and shaped their chosen path in life. Please join me in listening to our conversation with Shakira Hansley, class of 2011. My name is Shakira Hansley. I graduated from Rosemont in 2011. I'm currently a case supervisor at CASA Youth Advocates. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. And it's a volunteer run organization. So the caseworkers that I supervise are actually volunteers um, and they're appointed by the court to basically work towards the child's best interests. And CASA, we kind of call ourselves the fact finders of the court. Um, but I'll say we wear many hats because we are a mentor to the family. We are a friend to that child. Uh, we're someone that helps them through the court process, explaining things and making sure it's not too scary for them. Um, we are the person when they go into new foster homes, sometimes we're the first face that they see outside of that foster parent. When I was a student at Rosemont, I learned that human rights is synonymous to human dignity. And I took that with me throughout my career. Um, so I did go to law school uh, from 2014 to 2017. Um, so I feel justice to me is moral righteousness, equity, and being unbiased. Human dignity for me is just treating everyone with respect to value them, let them know that their lives matter and to treat them ethically. So I really think it's about connecting with people. Um, and Rosemont taught me to use your strengths. And I feel like my strengths are problem solving. I love to problem solve, but I also love connecting with people. Um, and in my job, I'm able to do that every day. And Rosemont, I was very involved as a student. Um, so I was in the Student Government Association. So that was one of my skills I honed on in college was being a leader. Working for student government, I also learned, I go by this quote, um, it's by Brian Stevenson, change the narrative, get proximate, stay hopeful, be willing to do what is uncomfortable. Um, and I was also an RA when I was in college. So a lot of times I really had to get to know, while they were my peers, I had to get to know them on a different level besides just being your friend. And as a college student, that can sometimes be uncomfortable. We're just there to learn, but also to have fun. And outside the classroom, we just wanna have fun. Um, but there were a lot of times I had to have uncomfortable conversations with my peers um, and just using the leadership skills that Student Government Association taught me, but also being proximate to my peers and learning that they might've violated a rule, but it may be something wrong that's going on in their home community or something going on at home that's affecting them. And by really getting to know them, I was able to get to the root of problems and you know help my classmates through tough times. They called me an advocacy intern, but one of my jobs was to go to the juvenile justice center. And that's where girls were, who were basically, um, being held because they committed status offenses. And I taught them empowering lessons. And I think that's when um, I first saw that I really enjoyed working with young people and giving them a sense of hope. And it, it's weird because I was young myself and I was very hopeful. Um, and I just tie that to being blessed with a beautiful family who nur nurtured me and just let me know that I was loved and cared for. Uh, for student government, it was something I always wanted to do. When I was even in middle school, I was on student government. So it was something I loved to do. So of course it was no brainer. Once I became a student at Rosemont, let's sign up. Let's see if my peers will vote for me. Um, but being an RA was a little bit different. Um, I studied abroad in Spain for my junior year. And when I came back, Rosemont was co-ed. The vibes and atmosphere on campus was just different and not in a bad way. It was just not what I had left and come back to. So I wanted to get more involved to understand campus again. Um, and so I said, you know what, if I become an RA, that forces me into circles and meet people that I would have never had the chance to meet. Um, I've always been a person that love communities. I love being a part of my community. And at Rosemont, the power is small. Well, they say it's small, but it's definitely powerful. And I just wanted to be a part of my community. And I thought becoming an RA was best. And it was because I still keep in touch with some of the first year students that I was the RA for. As an 18 year old, I don't know if that's what I initially saw. I remember the day it was um, 
after church with my mom. I'm an only child. And so she probably was just trying to find something for me to do that day. And she said, oh, the other day you got a pamphlet from Rosemont. Um, how about we go up there? And I said, okay, I guess. We walked into main campus, the beautiful castle. We were greeted with roses and chocolate fondue. And it was in that moment I said, wow, this is really pretty. I could get used to this. Now, of course, as a student, that is not everyday life. But for an 18-year-old who has no clue what college is about, it's like, this is just great service. It's a different environment and learning environment that Rosemont presented was that we were small, but not just small, but we really had that interaction with our professors. They came into the classroom excited to teach us, excited to know even what we did that weekend. So I really think it was the connections uh, with my professors. Also just seeing the passion that they had for the, their field. I think it was the passion of our professors and just the genuine love for their learning that kind of spilled over to us. Um, I'm personally not Catholic, I'm Baptist Christian, um, but I would say Rosemont welcomed me with open arms and it really opened me up to not just the religion of Catholicism, but uh, the heart and soul for the service that Catholicism has. (laughs) 